Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gon' talk, we gon' have fun. We be on fire, we be lit lit. It's a unique hustle, big, big, big shit. We bringing in uh, Atola Marv. Atola Marv is from Los Angeles, one of the original members of the Bloods. Um, and we got Melvin Farmer, also uh, a, a gang member from LA. Uh, originally a Crip, uh, Tuki Williams. Uh, R.I.P. Tuki, you remember he got assassinated. He, he was uh, he, he was given a death row and he, 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 he had an untimely demise. But um, these guys are coming here today. We're gonna go down that road with Charleston White on just gang violence and how do we bridge the gap for the youth and try to do something to where we can pretty much inject positivity in a way for them to come out of a way that's been pretty much gloomy and cloudy when it comes to gang violence. Gloomy and cloudy. Did you get the word? Hey, Gloomy and cloudy. This man do a couple episodes and just think he's. Gloomy and. You, I'm dope, bro. I've done a couple 400 and no jumper. Four million dollar. Uh, a four. I mean, four million dollar. Four million subscriber. Uh, no jumper comes at Boss Talk 101 in Charleston White, and and I'm just a, a little fish in a big pond. What do I? What do I supposed to do? We had to stand for ourselves, man, and and our platform looks better too. No cap. <laughs> it looks better. We just don't have the, the we don't we hadn't been in the game like this. Plus, I'm not white. If I was white, everybody would be over here. All the local rappers, they love going to the white platform. That's what they do, man. And uh, hey, man, I'm trying to get them to understand that black people can do things too. Holla at your boy. It's a unique hustle. Check it, man. <laughs> Bows. 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 Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we gonna Thank talk. Thank you so much for coming. Y'all, man, I love y'all for coming man, on the show, shoot. man. Man, we love being this coming, man. Been oh, up 15 good. years. 15 years. That's a long time, Black. I'm a business. Oh, yeah. Yeah, that's, that's a push, man. My kids grow up. My daughter's 16. I put it. We put it together for the kids. Okay. Mm -hmm. I want to know. Yeah, so they have, this is nice, so everybody right? coming in, man. Everybody, you know, grew up here. Some of the kids now that was started here 10, they 20. Think about that for a minute. It's 25. You know what I mean? When some of them went to the fair, come back home. Man, I'm so glad you're still here. <laughs> they don't they, 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 but they need that. Yeah. 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 yeah, that's a cool man. That's Tip Brand, King of Oneself. Okay. T.I. Oh, that's T.I.? Yeah. A king of oneself. That's what he said. Mm. He's been had that brain since 08. Okay. You know, I've been supporting him. Uh, he's not the only one. There was a lot of brains. Oh, yeah. Yeah. There's a lot. That's called uh, positive one. That guy from California. And he used to be on Prince Prince of Bel Air, too. And uh, uh, Different World. This was, you know, never, never question who I am. Mm. Stuff like that. They uh, need to put that back out on. Yeah, this is. Me. Yeah. <laughs> then you got your boy Charleston here. Then you got uh, this boy Bag run out of Mississippi. I try to do everything to help the boat. But then you got focus on positivity. This guy here, I love his brand because everything about it says something that's unique in itself. It'll say stuff like focus on positivity. Look at this on Bear here. Why'd you say something? Just. Watch what they say. 100% golden. Two blocks. Didn't that go, Steph? You remember we went? We always go. No, we don't. Yes, we do. Anytime we come, we come. We're going to go over there. We're going to go to that's, everywhere that's a, somebody that the rap was saying about. Somebody we used to always stay at that. Um, By the airport. What's the name of the hotel again? Embassy Suites. Embassy Suites. We used Embassy to Suites. By the airport. Mm -hmm. But this time we changed it and stayed at the other. At mm -hmm. And you one. still wasn't close to come. <laughs> you had to go to Gardena. No, but this time we didn't go to Compton. We didn't go nowhere this time. We to Compton because he's always like, we going to drive down there. And yeah, I got to go to Compton. Yeah, go, go you going to come down Compton and hit Rose Crown and don't see me, you ain't in Compton. Hey. You got to <laughs> check the hell in. <laughs> If you you got to check in. Well, right. now we know. Uh oh, now we know. Man. I need to get your number. Huh? Oh my God. That was how I told him. I told him. They know it. 1 800 Pyro. They going to they gonna know it. They're going to tell him. All you got to say, where's Marvin? They be telling. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> and his mama lay right there. <laughs> Do you still stay in touch with like the young life as far as the music culture? Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Pretty much. I mean, that's the, that's how you reach them. Yeah. Uh, my nephew is a Ray Shrimmer. Okay. Uh, uh, Sway Lee and uh, Slim. Okay. Yeah, they out of Mississippi, and uh, I raised Kendrick Lamar stayed across the that's street. That's my favorite rapper. Yeah, he grew up across the street. Them stories, y'all, y'all, y'all having the interview too early. This is stuff I want to hear over there. I don't want to hear. I wouldn't. I was just naturally yeah, fun. Yeah, that's it. That that's fun. Don't come out over. <laughs> <laughs> you know, I hear Kendrick. You know, that's my favorite rapper. Yeah, I got to talk yeah, about yeah. Kendrick. You'll get to hear it on the show. Watch Balls Talk One Hundred and One. Yeah. Quit trying to get a little insight over here. Yeah, you trying to be slick. Get that camera out of my face. No <laughs> Say, man, y'all already know what it is, man. Uh, shit, man, I'm out here. Outside of unique fashion, uh, fucking with ECEO, with Boss Talk 101. And uh, yeah, man, we got these brothers out of California down here, and we finna have this legendary sit down with a Pyro OG, an A Trey Gangster Crip, and Charleston White, man. So uh, y'all stay tuned in. Uh, make sure y'all subscribe, like, share, and uh, man, tell everybody, man, Boss Talk 101, what that is, man. Yeah, fuck with it. Listen. Check it, man. Uh, we out here, man. We're doing a, show a, a heck of a, 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 a podcast show. with my guys. I swear, man. believe California's it or not, in the not house. I let you know. I told them more. Mel, I don't know. Melvin Palmer, let's go. You get what I'm saying? Yeah. And whatever y'all had going, it was personal. And what you said about buntry, you know, it's just like it affects us because it's like whatever you and him did when you said fuck buntry. You do know what I'm saying? It like you ain't been to Compton. You did, this brother died for some stuff that was on politics. You, you feel what I'm saying? So I just wanted to clear that with you. You know what I'm saying? You understand where I'm coming from? No, not really, but we'll talk about it. Yeah, yeah, we talk, uh, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll, yeah, yeah, no, we'll, we'll, really. we'll, we'll chop it up. Oh, we get it on wax, but, but like I said, at the end of the day, it's just a conversation, you know? Yeah. But the thing I, I look at is uh, when, when I look at, like I, and, and like I told you when we was in L.A., well, I alluded to the fact of a lot of people, a lot of kids in the culture in the South, um, after they seen Colors or whatever, or me being in East Texas, Shreveport was right there, so you was influenced by a lot of those guys moving down there. Is what we. This is how we ended up, uh, you know, even knowing about games, period. You know, we was influenced by movies and, and stuff like that, but we never read, that wasn't our thing, not mine, down here. But at the end of the day, a lot of times you see people portraying that now. Is there anything that, it, it, should there be a deterrent now, you know, far as after you see all the killing that go on, is this something to where we should be saying, hey, man, this ain't the way we should be going with it, far as gangs? Well, I, I guess we all say that. You know, we all can say uh, this shouldn't be the way it was. But then, again, the portrayal is so prolific that what you saying is one ear out the other, okay. you know? So, I mean, it's a it's a hard job. Lot couldn't get one. So if you can get one, you done done God's work. You know what I'm saying? You done done the work. But to think you can save everybody, can't nobody save everybody, you know? Yeah. So you have to keep on not talking the talk, but walk the walk, show it every day. Being that, I mean, I'm in my hood every day. Yeah. I'm in my park every day. As a grown man, I'm, I'm not Ayatollah I'm Marv, I'm not OG Marv to them, I'm Mr. Kenzie. I earned that. You feel what I'm saying? I'm not your playmate, I'm not, but I'm trying to just show, like, damn, bro, you know, we got the, I can't tell you to pick up your pants, because if I'm just worried about your pants, if I ain't trying to get your head, the hell with what you're wearing, or how you're wearing it. You feel what I'm saying? So we have to get a concept together. As a unit, who are we trying to really save? Yeah. What do his kids call him? Nigga, don't give me these street names, these bullshit characters that can't stand before God, nigga. Can't stand before God, nigga. So I assassinate the characters because he who controls images controls mine. These bullshit images, nigga. Wow. Nipsey wasn't in heaven, that little boy said. He said, hear me. So I don't speak on Irvin. I don't speak on Cody. But nigga, whatever them names is that hip hop gave us, nigga, I assassinate them. Because our kids worship them motherfuckers. 
This is a generation of idol worshippers, nigga. Wow. So I assassinate the idols. Don't fuck what I say, nigga. Look what I do. So that's why I, I say any motherfucking thing. And I've heard you say yeah, that. Y'all say any motherfucking thing. I'm, on yeah, the, on say the internet. The internet yeah, is something. I'm a shock jock. Yeah, yeah, I'm a shock jock. Nigga ain't got no business listening to me no way. He and I'm willing to die. I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail by what I come out of my mouth. Wow. So when you think about the character versus the 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 individual as far as the way the mother bring this child to, to her image when she's dealing with it, do you, I mean, do you guys see the difference or do y'all feel like it's the same? First, let me start by saying this. And it ain't going to be no rebuttals about this shock jocks, killers, whoever the fuck running their mouth. I represent L.A. And I represent this crip shit. I don't give a fuck about her character. But I care about a person's legacy. Don't no nigga disrespect Nipsey Hussle. Monster Cody, Tookie, Raymond, watch it, nigga. It's tried by 12 or carried by 6 anywhere, anytime. Well, they characters to me, man. Well, I ain't, so I ain't talking I ain't, about who well, nobody I, I, I else opinion. I, 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 I didn't interject I done, you. I, done, I, done I don't say them, no, no, but no, I, no. But I done disrespected them, Scully. No, no, you I said this in front of me, and I done disrespected them. No, 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 and no, I just no, said no. I was a shock jock. So, nigga, no, at I, any I, given time, my nigga, if I feel the need to speak on something, it ain't a man alive that can muzzle his mouth. Hey, fuck a I'm willing to, I'm willing to die, kill, and go to jail by what I speak of. But see, no, you're right. Yeah, I 